What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the channel. With the special opt-in only patch that was available in Dungeon Defenders Awaken over the weekend, requiring that you back up or just make a duplicate copy of your local save file, I've had lots and lots of questions regarding how to do this process. Now, of course, there is step-by-step -step instructions in the patch notes themselves. I will put a link to that down in the description below. However, going forward, it still may come a time where you're going to want to back up your local save file for Dungeon Defenders Awakened. And this save file is going to be in your local app data settings. It's not going to be in the game file. So lots of folks are looking through the game files themselves, trying to find it and you're just not going to find your save file there. So first things first, if we head out to our desktop and take a look and open the file explorer, we're going to go to our local disk or our C drive, whatever your main drive is. We're going to go to users. We're going to select whichever the user of your machine is, who whatever you named your machine. In my case, it's just named Juice. And then we're going to go to app data. Now it's important to note here that the app data file, as you see, is a hidden file. So you may not see it. If you don't see this file here, make sure up top you have your hidden files checked. Because if it's unchecked, you're not going to see it. So make sure it is checked and you will see your app data file. This is a local save file, so you're going to want to go to local. And then the game is saved under DDS. So DDS file. Then you're going to go to the saved file. And then go to save games. Now this DDA underscore player underscore zero dot ESV is our save file. So we want to back this up by making a copy of it and storing it somewhere else other than this location. So I'm just going to make a copy of it and I'm going to place it right on my desktop. Just a simple copy and paste. Now I've already got that file there. I want to overwrite it with the new one. So let's go ahead and just replace that file. And now we've got a save file on our desktop itself. Now there's one other way you can get to it. If that way seems confusing to you, if you come down to your search bar and just type percent at data percent that is going to open your roaming at app data. Now remember, this is our local app data, so you're going to want to back it up a notch, and then you're going to see we're in the exact same place. So then go to DDS, saved, and save games, and there will be that save file. Now remember, this particular structure, it's not about just saving this file. You will have to, if you have any issues where you would want your save to be resumed from your save file, you are going to have to contact Chromatic Support and make sure that they wipe out your cloud save prior to having this save uploaded to the cloud. So if you do need to restore from your backup, make sure to contact Chromatic Support. However, if you don't have your save file backed up locally, you're not going to be able to at all. So that will do it for now. If you have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments below. But that is how to back up your local save file in Dungeon Defenders Awakened. So thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I will be live later today, a little bit on YouTube, and then later on in the day over on Twitch. And I am looking forward to that. I do realize I normally don't stream on Mondays, but my wife is out of town, so I'm streaming anyway. So thank you all so much for swinging by, and I will see you here in just a bit. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.